Hello everyone, this is Board Games and Bourbon. I'm Glenn Flaherty, and right now I want to talk to you about a game I'm really enjoying. It is one of my favorite two-player games at the moment, and it is called Shobu, and is being put out by Smirk and Laughter, Smirk and Dagger. It's a two-player game, takes about 20 minutes, ages 8 and up. Now, in this game, what you're looking at is a board of uh, four quadrants, and your goal is to take your enemy off of one of these four boards. So uh, if you are the black player, you're trying to push off the white player off one of these four boards, and you're going to do that through some simple movement that actually understates uh, the complexity to the movements as a whole. Now, when you do get the game, you're also going to get an instruction booklet. There's very few instructions to it, so it's it's really just a pamphlet, the one crease. This is the insert. You just put the boards there, your other stuff there. Now, in the game, there's really only two rules. Uh, you are going to move a piece, and then you have to imitate that piece on another board. What defines what you do on your first turn is, one, your first turn has to take place on your side of the board. And you'll notice that I have a very specific setup to the board, okay? I have the pale pieces here, the darker pieces here, a division here with the rope, which although, you know, pretty, is also functional. And then I have the pieces, mine versus the opponent's, okay? When you move your piece, it can move up to two spaces in any direction, but it has to be a straight line, okay? Now, let's just say I did that. Once I take my action on my side of the board, either here or here, I then can do that same action on the opposite color. So I move here, and now I must move something in that similar fashion forward and that amount on opposite colored board. So I might go there. Or I could have gone here. It doesn't really matter, okay? The other confounding factor to the movement is when I move, my first movement cannot come into contact with anything. However, my second action can come into contact with something, okay? So they call this the passive. They call that the aggressive, okay? So that's one move. Now, the other player does the exact same thing. You stay on your side of the board, and then let's just say this person decided to do uh, this, one, two, as a clean move, and then they're going to go on the opposite color of the board. They are going to go... Um, one, two, okay? Now, on my side of the board, just to complete a motion here, I'm gonna go one, two on my pale board, totally uh, passive, no contact, and now on this side, I'm gonna go one, two, I've pushed them off the board, and now they're down to three. So I am 25% the way there of winning this game. And that's going to go on, and what you're going to find is as the game evolves and pieces are shifting around, you have a really complex situation where you might be painting yourself into a corner where you can't move the way you want. Like, let's say on the next move, I really wanted to, um, I'm, let's say I'm the white player again, and I, I'm coming this way. <sighs> let's say for some reason, I was in this predicament where... I had the black player right back there. And what I need to do through all this movement is I need to ultimately be able to pull my piece back to knock the black off the board. What that means is on the opposite color and on my side of the board, I need to be in the position to do that. Well, I can't do it on the opposite side. I could have done it on the whiteboard, but that would only have affected the cross color. To actually make that maneuver here, I would have had one of these pieces have the ability to move back, and I don't have that ability. So this person ingeniously actually positioned themselves in a great place where on a future turn, starting their opposite colored board, they could have done that, kaboom, and then gone kaboom and knocked me off and taken me out. So what might look like you're in a compromised position is not necessarily so. Some of the other rules in the game that you'll want to remember is that when you knock something off, you need a clear path. So for example, um, let's just say I was moving here and I was trying to move this piece and go one, two. I wouldn't be able to move this anywhere because the path for this to move this way is already blocked by another piece. So I can't do that. Of course, you don't necessarily need to knock a piece off the board. You can you know, basically just shove it around the board and position yourself. 
every game has been incredibly engaging. And in a way, it almost feels like it's like quantum computing, you know, but in a board game fashion. I'm also really happy that in this time, um, what has been the abstract game experience has really moved forward. You know, on first glance, it might look like it's Othello uh, or Go uh, or Pentago. Somebody showed me that, okay, with swapping boards. But this has its nice own twist to it. And I got to say, the way they brought the pieces together into production really comes together as something you want to see in a table and not in a, oh, you know, I have a bunch of minis way, right? This is, you know, we have wood bits. We have a fiber rope. We have polished rocks that are natural. They're not cast. They're not, there's no artifice here, you know, ah, the, the, the checks in the board, you could say, but it comes together as a really nice, uh, thought out structure that you can tell had a vision when it came together. Also, the gameplay is kind of based on kind of like a sumo style game. Um, so the, and also the name Shobu, which I believe means match in Japanese. This has been so satisfying for all of our games. I've played it with multiple people. Everyone has been thoroughly engaged and it's eye catching. So you can leave it on a table and it will pique interest of people to explore it further. So if you're really interested in a cool new game, uh, even though it's abstract, and I'm not an abstract fan per se. Okay. That is called Shobu. I would encourage you to get it. Definitely one of my favorite two player games, possibly ever, uh, definitely of today. All right. Thank you so much. And if you have questions about gameplay, let me know. Bye.